Still in progress converting all of my ultralight gears to local brands, with a white and black theme. I replaced my Nature Hike LW180 with Makashop Ecolitas 300, but I'll review both of them. Before going full ultralight I've already loved Nature Hike products and replaced my Iger sleeping bag with Nature Hike M180. Then I switched to a lighter envelope style LW180 because I'm looking for a more compact size and I'm just starting to hike again to two seasons weather medium height mountains. Its compression sack is compact and convenient, with four firm compression straps and large webbing handles to help us pull out its content. The full openable envelope style is very useful for medium weather when it's not too cold and we need a blanket more than a sleeping bag. This is very fit for a camping seria or camper van sleeping bag. We even could combine two LW180s as two people or a couple sleeping bag. Its zipper is very smooth and convenient, with a nice build and bright design for easy use from outside or inside. The envelope style didn't mean this sleeping bag was not warm enough for cold weather. Its transition and risk limit is about 8 and minus 3 degrees Celsius. I've used it at Ranjani Mountain comfortably, with a proper layering system of course. The outside layer is made of waterproof 20D 380T nylon and its inside is 240T polyester pongi. Its total weight is about 680 grams. Another trait of this product is its synthetic filling makes it easier for us to wash it, and its single ply shape makes it easier for us to sundry it. Its fill weight is only 80 but its synthetic nature makes it quite thick as a cushion, but that also makes it not as compact as goose down fill. Then, I started going ultralight, tested some light sleeping bags but too thin, other is very comfortable but too heavy for me. Then I found Makashop Ecolitas 300 with perfect specs and price. It comes with a simple sack with the same fabric as its outer layer, and no compression buckles, but there's one tiny loop for a pull handle or storage hook. A bit too plain but simple and cut significant weight. As expected from a goose down sleeping bag, it expands to a puffy size from its compact packing size. It's a hooded mummy style, covered our head with a flexible face hole adjuster. Nice Mika leather logo act as a cover lid that locks the main zipper. Its opening is only half body, not a full head to toe zipper, but I prefer this type, more like cocoon type, felt warmer. Its inner is bright Kathmandu fabrics, helpful if we lost some of our gadgets or stuff inside. There is also a thermal inner version but I think dotted silver thermal fabrics are more effective in reflecting heat for direct skin contact usage like a base layer. With fill power 600 and fill weight 300, this sleeping bag is puffy, comfortable and warm. Soft and crude down feather 60 to 40 composition is help lowering its price tag, hence the name Ecolitis, which means economical but with quality. This local brand has a good build quality. The YKK zipper is performing well. Its nylon silky 20D waterproof is smooth with nice pattern. Its comfort range is 17 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius, extreme limit minus 3 degrees Celsius, with total weight 630 grams. The pros of a goose down sleeping bag are we can compress it to a very compact size when hiking, but we should treat it carefully. There are two hooks on the bottom to hang the sleeping bag upside down so it can be stored in non-folded and breathable condition. Both came in the same price range and good quality. The rest is about personal functional needs, preferences, and local brand support awareness.